Hi everybody, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online, and in today's five minute video, we're going to be focusing on using weights for our workout. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's get going. So this is a really quick workout for those days when you don't really feel like doing too much. Maybe you need a bit of motivation. So we're going to start by holding on to those weights. Now, if you don't have weights, then I recommend holding on to canned goods. But uh, And I'd recommend starting with two to five pounds. All right, so we're going to start with a nice warm-up. We're going to step side to side. And what we'll do is we'll have your arms at your sides. We're very slowly going to swing those arms side to side as we go. All right, so we're breathing in and out as we warm up. And this is a really good way to focus on building strength in our bodies. All right, now as we continue, we're going to be bending one arm at a time. So one arm is swinging to the side, the other arm is bending at your elbow. So we're going to have lots of fun with this workout, doing a few new things and really enjoying building strength with the weights. Now be aware of your breathing and also be aware of that posture. All right, let's go for three more, and two, and one. All right, so from here, we're gonna be bending those elbows and also at the same time, kicking those legs back behind you. Now, if it's a bit too much for you to do both, what you can do is do a nice gentle march on the spot and you can choose also to alternate the arms. So maybe one arm at a time. So let's start here, and then I'll show you the more advanced option if you'd like to work a little bit harder. All right, so we're working the front of the arms, our biceps here. All right, so then option two is doubling up if you want to work both arms. Remember to go slowly down. And then the option three is to kick those legs back. And do this at the same time as you are curling those arms up. Breathing in and out. Now this one will challenge your balance. So if it's too much, go back to option number one. Let's go for three, and two, and one. All right, awesome job. Good, so from here, we're gonna be lifting those elbows nice and high. Now watch that your weights are close to your body as you're lifting. All right, steady breathing. Now this one I call our heavy grocery bag lift because often we go grocery shopping and have heavy bags that we need to lift into the car or carry home. So it's important to have strength in our shoulders for that. Good, let's keep on breathing. Awesome job. Let's go for three and two. Good job, one more time. All right, so from here, we're gonna be swinging one arm in front and tapping that toe right in front of your body. Now just be aware that we are doing this nice and controlled, so don't swing too fast or too high. No higher than your shoulders. All right. Now, as we're getting older, it's really important, especially if you're over the age of 50, it's so important to do some sort of resistance training exercise. And what that means is using weights or resistance bands or using your body weight in order to build muscle. Because the truth is, when we reach the age of 30, our body starts to lose its muscle mass. So it's really, really important to continue to exercise to maintain your strength. Two more to go. You're doing great. And one more. All right, we're gonna do one more here. Let's bring those elbows wide. Hands are facing the front of the room. We're gonna be pressing one arm at a time right up over your shoulder. Good. Awesome job. And I'm gonna show you an extra add-on you can do with your legs. All right, so we're gonna do one round, pressing up and release. Pressing up and release. And then we're gonna be working your hips. So I'll bring those feet a bit closer together. We'll tap side and tap to the other side. 
Let's continue again. Press up. One, press up. Two, tap to the side. Tap to the side. Awesome work. Here we go. Press up. Press up. Breathing in and out. Tap to the side and the other side. All right. We are challenging our body, also our brain. And this one is targeting our shoulders and those hips. All right. Let's go for two more rounds of each. Awesome work. Now, if you've enjoyed today's video, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're feeling as we wrap up our workout today. All right, let's lower those arms. Woo! We're gonna lower the weights right to the side, place them on the floor or to the side, and let's circle those shoulders backwards. And notice how you're feeling. Hopefully you're feeling stronger and ready to move on either to another workout. Be sure to check my other videos I have here, Aim Fitness Activities in Motion, or be sure to reach out as well. I love answering your questions and I've got lots of great online programs if you're looking for more. All right, be sure to check the comment section below for all the information about how to stay connected on social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, bye.